and welcome to the Geek Lab. And it's official. I am a plonker. Yes, you probably guessed that already, but I'm going to declare it officially. Because the other day, uh, as you may know, the fan on my 3D printer that was donated to me by Neil, uh, the one on the extruder, has been running a little bit noisy. So we decided to order a new one. Uh, it took a while to come from China, but it got here and I decided to fit it. And on putting the thing back together, uh, the extruder was loose and rotating. So I decided to tighten it up, obviously. And I just happened to tighten the wrong bolt and cracked the extruder mount, as you can see here. Now, on most machines, that's going to be expensive. That's uh, We're going to have to order a new part from the manufacturer, but this is a 3D printer. What do 3D printers do? They print stuff out. So yes, uh, because one side of the, of the head was still attached and tough enough, the printer is still able to print and make its own replacement part. Yes, they're multiplying. They're printing themselves. One of the advantages of 3D printers, they can upgrade themselves, new parts come out, you can make them. So, let's uh, see what colour can we make our new part from. Now, here we are. We have three colours available at present. Blue, which everybody seems to use every day. Black, which I've brought for a future project. And the purple we've been using. So, which do I use? That would look professional, but... Meh. Everybody does that. It's got to be purple, hasn't it? Let's make this thing look funky and 1980s and neon, sort of. Roughly, sort of. Let's use the purple. Now, luckily, the extruder mount itself is this thing, which was created by a YouTube channel called Tech2C. It's the E3D V6 Bowden X Carriage Mount V2 Prusa i3. So you can just download this on Thingiverse, move it over to Cura, sort it out, create an STA, sorry, create a G code file, and send it over to your printer, which is what we're going to do right now. And after a bit of a spritz and a clean up, here they are. Here's the uh, main mount itself. You can see the screws there where it goes through to the carriage, which will carry it along the axis. It'll come out rather nice. Yes. This is the. This uh, holds the main fan for the cooling duct. The cooling duct is here. And this actually. A bit of a tight squeeze, but there we go. Line that up with the holes again. There we go. Excellent. Yep. And here's the front of the bolt, which will hold the extrude itself in place. There we go. That'll look like that. And that's the bit that we've cracked on the present one. So, 
what's left for me to do is to put this on the printer. Right, what's left to do, he says, is remove this old one and replace it with the new one. Let's see how that goes. And there you go, there's the printer properly printing away with its new extruder mount. It actually looks better than I thought it would, it's quite funky, I like that, so uh, there you go. 3D printers are self-replicating, before you know it they'll be switching themselves on at night, and you'll wake up and there'll be five of the buggers. So if you want to stop the 3D printer takeover, because eventually they'll become sentient and uh, destroy your mankind, so if you want to stop that, and you haven't already subscribed then please subscribe and liking the video will also stop that and you can join us on Twitter uh, Facebook group and if you want to support the channel uh, you can do that through Patreon so there you go that's a 3d printer repaired with a much more funky looking support so thank you all very much for watching you need to quit being dirty you're a dirty boy <laughs>